Hey there, this is Mike of Mac Digital Media. Today is Friday, May 8th, 2020, and I've got another workflow tip for you. Actually, this is a little more advanced because it's going to require perhaps a little more steps involved, but uh, it's actually very helpful to do. Uh, it is in regards to reusing custom nested graphic builds. Um, this is something that would have multiple sequences within a sequence in, you know that type of thing nested within sequences so uh, if you've ever worked with nests before in Adobe Premiere you know how they essentially work a nest is think of nested dolls there with the you know you open up one and there's another one inside you know, open it up and another another inside that kind of thing um, it works similarly in in Premiere and other programs and uh, if you ever worked in it, it can be very confusing too if you need to duplicate those, uh, those images. Anyway, here's an example. If we have an eye, this has been nested. If, as I drill down into it, you can see now we finally get to uh, the actual video clip. If I pop back out again and I say want to duplicate this, let's copy and paste it. And now we want to go back into this duplicate. Well, it's not just a matter of jumping into all the nests and then finally changing the image inside because this is what's going to happen. You get back out to your template. Oh, hey, it changed. We changed. We updated. Hey, it's a success. Oh, what? Whoa, wait a minute. What happened to my? What happened to my other one? Ah, uh, wait. I didn't want to do that. So as you can see, you change the image, but because of the fact we duplicated the original nest original sequence it didn't change the sequences within that sequence okay um, so it's not as easy as being able to just copy and paste it like say text you can't just copy and paste it and it makes a new version of it uh, instead you have to duplicate the elements that actually were to create that now um, you can certainly do that here and you can start going, okay, well, I'm going to make a new version of test one and I'm going to call it test two and all this. Well, it's going to get really complicated and you're going to throw up your hands and you go, ah, this is so frustrating. I'm just going to do it in After Effects and make a template or something like that. Uh, what you can do, though, is I have an example here of... Um, a template that I went ahead and created myself here. Let's go ahead and close out some of these windows. All right, okay. Now, if we take Mike's template master number one, that's the first iteration of it. We have uh, a build here with tinted, uh, tinted image, you know, text, that sort of thing. Uh, if I want to go ahead and duplicate that, once again, I'm, I, I have the same situation. I need to. Uh, set these things all up so that we can do that. And this is where being organized is gonna be really helpful for you, okay? You wanna to try to be as organized as possible. In the very beginning, it's gonna make things a lot easier to deal with. In this particular case, I've set it up so that I have all the elements that are inside of this particular sequence. I now appended a number to the end, uh, in this case, one, okay? So you wanna go ahead and do that. Now, when you want to make a new version of this, all you do is duplicate that whole project, that, not that project, I'm sorry, duplicate that whole bin, and now we're just going to make a new version of it. We're going to call it version two. Go into it, and there, here's where you just want to go ahead and update the fact that now we're making a new version of it. We're updating all the numbers, in this particular case, to the, sex, the second version, which is going to be two. Okay. All right. And you don't want to update any of the adjustment layers. Okay. Just don't want to do it. You only want to update um, the sequences. Okay. So now that we have all those done, um, what you can do is you find the very first one. This is in my main sequence here. Uh, Mike's template master number one. Okay, you look for that. Where is it? Oh, okay. Well, we got, we have, we're in the new version of it, so we're going to put in number two. So what you want to do is, 
double click on to the master okay double click on it and first of all we want to make sure before we do anything else we want to make sure that this button is highlighted uh, at the top of the uh, timeline panel and that is the insert and overwrite sequences as nests button make sure it is highlighted uh, so you go into that first thing this is Mike's template master number two that's the next version we're working on what do we need we need the main template layer that's the old one find it in here and now you just drag it over the top of the old one okay now you go into that one we're drilling down into it further into the nest and this is main template number two we click on it what do we need the old one was number one for the nest we just drag it over the top replace it and now we want to get into that one because we're drilling down even further into this build and now we have a video clip up number one we're going to replace it with number two because that's the new version and we want to change the shot so we drill down into video clip uh, nest and we have we're going to go ahead and throw the seaplane shot in there and you want to overwrite don't use replace just use overwrite the old clip okay you'll get back out again and now we want to go ahead and just add it into the timeline this is going to be Mike's template master number two add it and there you go there's the shot that you need um, and then from this case in this particular uh, this is the point where you go ahead and change the text itself and you can drill down in the timeline itself this way and you just keep drilling down and now you see okay see you gonna say um, flying and we drill down a little bit further and now we got the big text here and maybe it's here and once we get out and uh, we get out of the thing um, the sequence here and now we have the old version or the previous version and now we have the new version and there you go it's it's very simple to do I mean it's just it's a lot of steps I have to do but once you get the hang of it it's super easy you know then I just close this up I close these things down because I'm done with version 2 and now to make a new version just simply duplicate it 3 drill down into 3 we update the 3 numbers here All the three numbers and for as many layers as you have hopefully it's not tons and tons but if it is you just do it the same way it's no problem okay now we have that version so we're gonna go ahead and do number three so we just get into that first one what do you need oh I need I need main template there it is see it's already it's already named for you, you just now it's the new version of it you lay over the top you get back into what is in there now and there we're drilling down main template layer now we're gonna go first nest layer okay that's the same one it was version 2 before now it's gonna be version 3 we get into the first nest layer because we're drilling down deeper and deeper into the build and that is video clip number three we want to replace two and then if we want to change the shot you know we could go ahead and get to this point we're at we're at that point and let's see if i have uh, some clips here for something just a something to throw in there i overwrite the old one and then we back out and then now we can now we're ready to add the uh add the template master to the timeline it's right here and there you go now it's the new shot in the background it hasn't changed the other ones they are all the way they're supposed to be and again you just get in here and you drill down into the timeline and that's when you um, just easily change this text um, and there you go big that. big and all right back out of it and there you go and you've updated that text so this is great for being able to do um, opens for say I have a TV show or a YouTube channel that type of thing uh, you're doing a presentation and you want to have uh, a different open 
same kind of style, but you want to just customize the, the graphics that you use as well as the, the uh, images that are inside. It makes it really easy to do. You could do the same thing with uh, lower thirds. It might have elements that are uh, also photos as well. And you could certainly build these things in After Effects as templates, but it does become a little bit more complicated to have to do that. And if you're not somebody who's real familiar with After Effects and you're much more familiar with Premiere, then you can build beautiful builds and do all sorts of things and multi-layer kind of extravaganzas all in Premiere and then use this technique as a way to duplicate them and very easily update them and and it will work every time so so uh, there you go I hope this is a tip that helps your workflow uh, makes things go faster for you makes things a little more organized for you uh, I, I love trying to figure out these kinds of things. I had a friend that asked if this was possible, and uh, certainly it is. So um, there you go. So anyway, uh, have a great, uh, a great day, and a certainly uh, best wishes for a great project. Take care.